The Drum Daddy Producer Kit by Ingram Audio is a very simple, ready to go, pre-mixed drum library. The question is, is this like a fast food drum library or does it offer something more substantial? This drum library is a contact instrument so you need the free contact player. I will use the full contact 7 because I'm awesome. You get a high and low tom, two crash cymbals, a ride, a china, and one hi-hat. Snare offers three choices. And the bass drum offers two. So it has not many sounds, but as long as they are good, that's totally fine. I'm not convinced by the rim click sounds. Sounds like a hit on the rim more than a proper throaty rim click sound. So this drum library is pre-mixed. The whole idea behind it is that you focus on creating with ready to go sounds. I do not need to spend much time on mixing. I'm sure there are many out there who love this approach and I see the added value of this. Pre-mix doesn't mean you have zero control over the sounds in the producer kit. For every sound you can blend direct sound overheads and rooms. Except for the crashes, they don't have rooms which makes sense. Every sound has an easy to use EQ. Pitch. Panning. and a level. And the direct sounds have an envelope shaper and character controls. Who doesn't want some stank and girth in their audio? The drums have alternating samples when you use one velocity. That's good when you play faster snare fills for instance. It won't sound too static or like an obvious sample. The dynamics of each drum and cymbal seems to be divided into three velocity zones. First you have two zones with one dynamic each, no matter the level of the MIDI note. And you have a big middle to loud level zone. So the sounds are not fully dynamic of the entire level spectrum. That means you won't go really refined with dynamics, although a ghost note or two sounds good. But I would stick with big backbeats with this drum library. You made it so far in the video, so subscribe to stay up to date on the latest new cool plugins. This video is made possible by DistroKid. Are you a musician looking to get your music onto popular streaming platforms like Spotify and Apple Music? Look no further than DistroKid. With its easy to use platform and affordable pricing, DistroKid makes it simple for artists to get their music out there. Plus, you'll keep 100% of the royalties you earn from your streams. Why not give it a try and see for yourself why so many artists are choosing DistroKid to distribute their music. Sign up today and start sharing your music with the world.
get 7% off of your first year by using the link in the description of this video. Now where the drums have basically one expression each, the cymbals are an exception. The crashes have crash, cup and choke. The china has crash and choke. Right cymbal has crash, choke, tip and bell. The hi-hats take this further with 4 open hi-hat variations. 5 if you count in loose. And you have edge, tip and clamp. That's 8 variations in total. The amount of loose variations imply that this drum library is more suited for louder rock and metal music styles, which it actually is. This library is for pop to loud metal, not your bossa novas or Sunday afternoon jazz. Although this plugin is pre-mixed, that doesn't mean you cannot use any additional processing. The producer kit takes bus compression really well. Whatever compressor you use on the entire kit, it will enhance the sound and not obstruct anything. Which is great to put the final touch on the drums in the mix. This drum library is for those users who need an already polished drum kit sound in pop to metal style productions and don't want to spend much time mixing and love big back beats. If you are more metal focused, I suggest you also check out Spectra Digital's Extinction Level Event Drums. It is in a video which is displayed on screen and also linked in the description below.